Hey everybody, before we get into this video about Robert Downey Jr.'s alternate lines and that climactic ending of Avengers Endgame, we have a question for you. This question has to do with your thoughts. Yes, we want to know what is your favorite Marvel movie and why. Let us know in the comments below, and if you do so, we'll be sure to give you a like. Now let's get started. Robert Downey Jr., he is the, like, OG, right? The original GOAT, the one who kicked off the Marvel Universe. Without him, would we have this 20-something, 30-something movie saga of us actually talking about the multiverse and dimensions and Moon Knight and all the other things that's in between? This is, like, he is the start of all these things. And not only does he have a redemption arc as a person, his redemption arc or his story arc in Marvel is so pinnacle with two clear bookends at his origin when he says, I am Iron Man, revealing his secret identity to everyone in the room at the newsroom at the end of Iron Man 1 and at the very end where him and Thanos faces off spoilers for Endgame if you haven't seen it I don't know why you're watching this video but he looks at Thanos and says I am Iron Man and he snaps and obviously the rest is Marvel Cinematic History and we are now in the ongoing phases of life after Mr. Iron Man now we have found out in a recent interview with Robert Downey Jr. that he had some other lines he was testing out that didn't quite land the plane or maybe wasn't exactly as impactful as the line that I just shared with you. Here's what Robert Downey Jr. had to say. So he was on this recent podcast, I think it's called the Hypochondriac Podcast, that's probably a butchery, it's a Hypochondriac Podcast, so if you want to go check out that interview, go check that out. And he was asked, you know, in this quiz type format, what was your last line? As Iron Man is like, of course it was I am Iron Man, but I had some other ideas. He says, correct answer is I am Iron Man, but I had so many alternate lines that I wanted to put forward. Oh goodness, let me think. They were all super smart, like just not ton of cheek lines that would have landed. I was trying st dumb stuff like you are so F or whatever, or you know what, I'll have to go back to my notes. I get the Infinity Stones, I wanted to say something like, oh snap. But at the end of the day, they just felt too cheesy. They felt like they weren't capturing the moment. And I agree with that, by the way. Like, although those was, could be Iron Man lines, uh, and that could be something that he would potentially say in a situation, at that moment, he had the realization that he his the success of them beating Thanos required one thing, and that required the sacrifice of his life. And so for it to be like gimmicky or like maybe like a ha ha line at the end would have like kind of taken away from the moment that impactful moment i still remember sitting in theater and like realizing that this he's he's gonna die like this is it and it's still just you think about that moment it's 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 one of the most iconic if not the most iconic moment in marvel movies and he tells you what he says i'll tell you what there's those comments were way off uh the whole character arc it was way better and it was an editor's idea that we just bookend it with what he said his origin and that to be his dying words. Well, we love Robert Downey Jr. It's cool to know that there's some altered dialogue lines that they tried but didn't quite work out. And we love Avengers Endgame. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, you can like, subscribe, turn notifications if we fulfill your movie hunger on the regular. And the answer to that question is really your thoughts, guys. What is your favorite Marvel movie? I think I lean towards Avengers Infinity War, although I really do like Spider-Man No Way Home. I like a lot of these movies, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching.